we'll go to drive.google.com and click new and go to Google Sheets. And right away, just like with any other Google item, I want to give it a title. And Google Sheets, it's very useful for uh, using data, uh, for, for viewing data, for visualizing it in different ways. Let's say you have a list of classes and the number of credits you're going to be getting from each one, and maybe your grade and your grade point points. And let's say you're in English and math and 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 every every course you take, you need to earn five credits. Let's say your current grade is you've got a B here, an A, a B, a C, a B, and an A. You've got um, for grade points, a B is worth three, an A is worth four, a C is worth two, and let's say you wanted to have a grade point average, GPA. For GPA, that's going to be the average. See, I can just put equals and type in the word average, highlight all of this, close parentheses, and it's telling me what my grade point average is. So it's kind of like a big calculator. It can do so much more than averaging. You can also create uh, cool charts if you highlight um, some cells and go to insert chart. It gives you a few options for how to represent this data. This data isn't quite organized in a way that um, makes it easy to, to use for a chart because the numbers mean different things. Let's say, let's get rid of this. I'm going to delete the chart. And let's say I just wanted to use my classes and my grade points to make a chart from that. Insert chart. And I can represent my chart, my GPA, my grade points in a few different ways. And now I've got this neat chart that can change uh, if the numbers change. So let's say I bring my, um, my elective grade from a C to an A. And that changes from a two to a four here. And you saw this elective part of the bar chart increase. And this chart, I can uh, download it as an image. I can publish the chart and embed it on my website. And then as these numbers change, it automatically changes on my website. There's some really neat things you can do with Google Sheets. It's very useful. OK, but really, this whole challenge was just about creating the spreadsheet, editing the spreadsheet a little bit, and sharing the spreadsheet. So you don't have to have created a chart necessarily. I just wanted to see that you know how to add in information into these different cells and organize information on a chart like this. So I'm going to click on Share now. Hopefully this isn't new to you anymore. You're going to change this. Uh, right now it will say anybody in the district can view it now. I want to change that again so that anybody with the link can view it. And I'm going to click Done. So there we have it. Share. Anybody, anybody with a link can view this spreadsheet. 